Welcome to this follow along. We're going to focus on the mixed voice for male singers or lower voice singers starting at C3. So the first thing we want to activate is our pharyngeal resonator. That is where your chest voice and head voice kind of meet. It's the in-between and you can call it the middle voice if you want. But our goal when we are doing these mixed voice exercises is not to throw off our alignment and our supports. So alignment, your posture. Go ahead and pull the back of your head up and feel that spine lengthen, okay? And you try to keep that posture throughout the entire time you work on these exercises. Now with your support, make sure your chest is in a high position so that when you sing, when you sing on your exhale, you're not dropping that chest, okay? A lot of mixed voice exercises that you might have heard of will want you to imitate like the whiny, bratty, or witchy sound, which we will get into, of course, but it's the approach that I want to emphasize today that will be different from others. When you are doing these exercises, try not to scrunch up your face to make it happen. Try not to place it forward. Try not to get it to the mask of your face because what that does to someone who is not properly trained with alignments and support, we end up curving our body. We end up slumping and then that's going to be very hard for you to sing appropriately. And that's where vocal issues would happen, okay, because of our foundation and our technique is off. So when you're doing these exercises, we still want to go for, you know, the similar sounds that we would aim to have, such as the whiny, bratty cry, but we're not going to tense up our face or our body to get there. That is the goal, okay? So let's activate the pharyngeal resonator by doing an NG siren, starting low, going high, and back down. Let's do three of them together. Here we go. Feel the vibrations at the back of your pharynx. Notice how you were able to go from your chest voice to your head voice smoothly without the need to press it forward, okay? All right, so the first exercise will be on a meow. Pretend you're a cat and go meow, 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 meow. And it has that whiny cry sound that we want to have in this exercise. But when you're doing this, you're gonna go in like a circular motion with the meow and the pattern is this. stretching with a circular motion, okay, rather than just going meow, 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 okay? Starting here.
for more of a bratty sound. Now this exercise is naturally loud already, so you want to aim to have a medium volume when you sing this and try not to get louder and louder as you go higher, okay? You want to keep your volume even. That's how you know you are controlling your voice, but don't push as well. Again, don't scrunch up the face to make this happen. You're going to sing on nya. Yeah, yeah, and you kind of have this chewy sound with the yeah, 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 and then you open up on yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now this is the pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a little bit of a slide. We're going from one to five back down. Okay, so let's start there. We are starting a little bit higher so that we're near more of the vocal break, okay? So we're still gonna work with nya, but this time we're gonna jump up an octave and back down. So a bigger distance to work with, and this will really make sure you work on your breath support because you don't wanna push all that air out all at once. You need enough air to be able to go up an octave and back down. Again, we're aiming for this twang, for this bright sound, and this is great if you wanna work on more of a pingy and powerful mix voice, but remember, your alignment we do not need to scrunch up our face to make this happen okay so let's start here and this is what it sounds like yeah, yeah, yeah.
So most of the exercises that we just did contributes more of nasality in your singing, but how about we do an exercise that will take away that nasality and work on bringing resonance through more of the mouth, the oral cavity. So we're gonna sing on B, but the U uh is more like in book. Uh, B, 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 B. So we're still gonna work on mixing our voice, but with less tendency to be nasal, okay? And this is the pattern. Do three lip trill or lip roll sirens. <laughs> That's it for this follow along. I have a free mixed voice vocal training that I am providing to you. All you gotta do is enter your email and it's in the description box below and then it will redirect you to a page where there's a 20 minute training video that I will not upload anywhere else. So this is very exclusive only to email subscribers. And on top of that, I have downloadable tracks for both male and female singers with the exact exercises that I show in the training video. So go ahead, check that out. It's free and it's all for you. Thank you so much for watching. That's all for now and I'll see you next time.